Imagine if someone could not only view your private chats but also retrieve sensitive information like your passwords just by making small changes. Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video we will see how they do it and safeguards against it. Let's get started. Go to the challenge page and it says this lab stores user chat log directly on server's file system and retrieves them using static URLs. Solve the lab by finding the password for the user Carlos and logging into their account. So we need to see the chat of others and retrieve password from it. Pretty simple. Click on assess the lab. Now here we have our routine e-commerce website with one different function of live chat. Go to Foxy Proxy, switch to Burp Suit, refresh the page. Mm, tap on live chat let's type hello and click on send now here's the reply from the bot yes let's do it again hello send and another message from bot open burp suit and let's check what it stores for us in HTTP history mm, over here interesting let's get back to the chat page live chat page click on view transcript open burp suit look for post method download transcript and in response section you can see this single number static URL now tap on a specific URL 2.txt and in the response section you can see the chat we had with the application at hello I heard the other half talking earlier etc etc now it's time to play right click and send it to repeater mm. repeater tab we have two dot txt it means one dot txt must be there replace two with one and click on send perfect response 200 okay here's the chat of the victim that is carlos i have forgotten my password i'll like to confirm whether it is correct or not etc etc and here you can see the password copy it and get back to the challenge page click on home my account username is Carlos and paste the copied password from the burp suit login now perfect it's done congratulations you solved the lab to safeguard against IDAR or insecure direct object reference vulnerabilities number one implement improper access controls that is authorization check and rule based controls number two use indirect references to do object mapping and use universally unique identifiers or UUIDs Number three, data validation, that is to sanitize inputs. Number four, limit exposure of internal data. By implementing these safeguards, you can reduce the risk of insecure direct object references vulnerability in your application and improve overall security. Thanks for watching.